I'm here with Dan Sterling. He is the head writer, the story man behind this movie, The Interview, starring Seth Rogen and James Franco. Um, Dan, North Korea, the killing of a dictator, Kim, Kim Jong-un. Did I get it? Uh, close enough. <laughs> it's better than he can pronounce it himself, I think. There you go. Uh, tell us about this movie and really the research that went into it. And how, did you, how did you actually come up with this movie? Well, I mean, basically, Seth and Evan said to me, you know, we have this idea for a movie. What if you were to get an interview, you know, uh, uh, with, Ki with Osama bin Laden? You know, would you feel compelled if you were in a room with him to, to kill him on behalf of humanity? Uh, uh, but we decided not to, to write a movie about that for several reasons, one of which was that there was already a, a big comedy coming out about a Middle Eastern dictator type. And uh, uh, also, Osama bin Laden turned out to be, not there uh, long thereafter, uh, dead himself. So he, he sort of, he, he, stole, he stole our idea. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> It's not a real movie anymore at that no, point, No, no, right? no, no, yeah, that's right. It's not as fun if he's already made dead. I just uh, had to go see Zero Dark Thirty, and yes, I've, I've done it. Right that's now. right. Yeah. No. So, uh, so uh, Obama sort of took our, our idea about that. But yeah. So we decided we uh, we decided on North Korea because it was a you know that's as bad as crazy and dark and horrible a place as you can really get. You know, people say that actors lie for a living, but this is living a lie. Okay, Rob, when you're ready. Get ready, camera two. Oh, oh. Jesus, fuck. Whoa. His head looks like somebody's taint. You barely look different. Thanks, man. Come on. We've been together for a thousand episodes. Congratulations on a thousand hours of being a massive sellout. What do you mean? Guys, guys, some pictures just came out where it looks like McConaughey's fucking a goat. Ooh. McConaughey goat fuck? McConaughey goat fuck. Get him, get him, get the goat! Get the goat! <sighs> Got some questions for that goat. Every night, millions of people watch our show. I just want to cover actual news, not Nicki Minaj's vagina fucking flopping out at the Grammys. You don't like that brown sugar? It has nothing to do with brown sugar. Look at this. Kim Jong-un wants to do an interview with Dave Skylark? He's a fan. Look at this butt fuck. If that ain't a real story, what is? OK, let's fucking do it. We're going to North Korea! Mr. Rappaport, I am Agent Lacey with Central Intelligence. Yo, Aaron. Yo, I don't know who I fucked last night, but I got some stink dick. Uh, Dave, it's actually a... Uh... Woo! Yo, Aaron, does your dick stink? So weird how you, like, just want to keep smelling it, though. Dave, uh, the CIA is here. You two are going to be in a room alone with Kim. We got the interview! The CIA would love it if you could take him out. Hmm? Take him out. Like for drinks? Like to dinner? Take him out in the town? No, uh, take him out. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Hello, North Korea! We might die, but we'd be total dickheads if we didn't do this. I've had a great life. I had the best, best friend. Fuck more women than Ellen DeGeneres. Kim must die. That's the American way. You like it! You have to secure the payload. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? There are people coming. Where the fuck do I hide it? What if you hide it in your butt? I don't want to stick it in my ass. You got to put it in your butt right now. It's a little big to stick up my ass. They are closing in on you. <laughs> the package is secure. That? Yes. Oh. Fucking weapon of ass destruction. You got fucked by Robocop, dude. Bring your mind. Lot of lot of research went into this movie. You used to write for The Daily Show. Yeah, that's true, yes. So how much of doing that sort of political satire and being in that environment was able to you taking that and put it into this script? Right, well, I mean, I, uh, yeah, I lo have had a long interest in political satire and I've written other things. I mean, the original movie, the, the whole reason that I know Seth and Evan is because a movie that I wrote on spec uh, sort of also had this very international scope and it, it's the story of a, uh, a guy that would be played by Seth, still uh, will be, um, 
who winds up having a, a, an affair with the Secretary of State. Uh, Ooh. Uh, yes, who is correct. <laughs> um, uh, she's a very, in the movie, you know, very attractive and young and appealing. But um, so, yeah, but so for the research for, for this movie, I mean, I read a number of books about North Korea. Um, it's a fascinating place. It's not a very funny place, and we're hopefully not making fun of the, of the, the very tragic situation that's uh, uh, still happening there. Um, but, um, and then we watched a lot of documentaries about North Korea, which are strange because they don't, you can't actually get in there with a camera very much, but what you can, what you can film while you're there is mostly all of the government's ridiculous antics about hiding what things are really like there. And that to, that to us was funny and is funny in uh, a certain way. One thing Evan did mention to us is that Vice documentary. Exactly. Uh, Dennis Rodman, the sure. Harlem Globetrotters. Did you work with Vice in, on this or just in sort a of weird watch way, the documentary? Yeah. Well, Vice has been very cooperative with us. Now, we wrote this movie before Dennis Rodman had the idea to do exactly what James Franco does in this movie. We wrote it and then discovered that Dennis Rodman uh, goes to North Korea and falls under the spell of this lunatic dictator, which is exactly what happens in this movie, if I'm not giving too much away. Um, but, uh, but we, yeah, so we called Dennis Rodman to talk to him as we were getting this movie ready for production. Uh, we're still waiting for a call back. We have three days left of shooting, <laughs> so I'd, he must be very busy with whatever the hell he does. But, uh, but Vice... Being Dennis Rodman, yeah. Yeah, but Vice Magazine was very cooperative and very excited about the project, and they're letting us use some of their footage uh, from their time in North Korea, and they sent us some photos of things, and talk talk to us in general about what it's like there so yeah they, they were really helpful and I'm a Vancouver native like Seth and Evan and Kyle Hunter also and Kim Jong-un you turned Robson Square the heart of downtown you put up a big statue that must have been kind of fun for you I don't know yeah I mean I didn't put the statue there myself we have a whole crew who does that but when I, I when I got there I did see it there and it, yeah it looked great uh, the, uh, the the local press seemed to make quite a bit of it they were quite uh, um, tickled by the fact that we turned their city into uh, Pyongyang. Terrific. And Dan, people that are going to see this movie, just how crazy, how much fun are they going to be watching it? James Franco, Seth Rogen, the interview. This is a crazy movie. It is filthy. It is violent. It is hilarious. Uh, hopefully it is even, and this is the lowest priority, politically poignant. But How, how so? Well, it makes the point that I think very few people realize is that North Korea is a horrible place. We're, we're the first and, and bravest to declare this. Uh, but no, but I mean, it, it also should uh, be clear that we're making fun of American, uh, the, the American celebrity obsessed culture and, and our, the current state of our television news, which is pretty awful. Uh, you can tune into CNN for five minutes and see what I'm talking about. And la by the way, when they're covering our movie, you know what, you should just edit that right out, because we still need that. But uh, yeah, so yeah, the movie is totally crazy, totally fun. Uh, the guy who plays Kim Jong-un, Randall Park, is amazing. He's made the whole movie what it is. Well, not the whole movie, yeah. but From yes. the TV show Veep, actually, yeah. Yes, and from other things. He and I have worked before uh, together, and uh, so yeah. Awesome. Dan Sterling with us right now on the set of the interview. He wrote the script. Dan, thanks so much for being on. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you.